comes episode four. We got the division loser, the Detroit Lions at three twelve and one. What do you gotta love think? that tie? <laughs> Good old tie. Yeah, I mean three wins, but they didn't have Stafford. Yeah, no, I mean that's the biggest no. thing. So, I do think if Stafford was here, I think that they'd be more pushing with the with the Bears. Probably right, eight that. and eight, nine and seven. Yeah. But anyway, got like seven seven starters, seven starters potentially hitting the free agency block. One's a punter, one's a long snapper. Yeah. Let's get that out of the way. Dam- then, Damon Snacks Harrison, he's, he was a big mm-hmm. one. They've already said that they're letting him go. He's going to be a free agent. Yeah. Um, Mike Daniels, another defensive tackle. Then Those Aus- guys are both in their thirties, right. thirty one. Then Alshon Robinson, he's twenty five. Yeah. And then they got. Tavon Wilson, their, their safety. Starting safety, and then Don Mobach. Mol- Mobach. Or no, I'm reading the wrong. Um, Graham Glas- Glasgow. He's a guard. guard. Yeah. They'll probably pay him. Those so, are hard to come by, and he's yeah. 28, so. They got 46. So he's in his prime, so yeah, you're going to want to pay him, retain him. $46.8 million. They need a lineman, defensive, corner, and offensive lineman. Their team needs. It's weird. They don't have. It doesn't seem like they've got a lot of team needs, but it's not really translating on the field. It doesn't seem like, does it? I but mean, like I said, they didn't have, well, Stafford, they didn't have Stafford. So, but so, but I think there's a rumor mill that Stafford might want out. It's there's it, rumors, it's developing. There's it's rumors developing. that they could take two or somebody. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a developing story. I don't know. They got seven draft picks. Like you said, only a couple team needs, but they're picking third. And 35th is their first couple. And then they got two fifth rounders and no seventh rounder. If this is me, <clears throat> don't tell me you're going to trade back. <laughs> yeah, he likes the trade back route. He likes to go for depth. <clears throat> I mean, I think you go with Tua. I mean, think about it. Burrow goes one, Young goes two. I would use that third. This is, and this is the time I think it's the best time to use it. I would use that to your advantage and have Dolphins trade up getting on a first round pick. There you go, trade trading back. Well, they're they're actually kind of in a good spot because mm-hmm. I mean, you got to figure. Okay, the, you know the Bengals are going to take a quarterback. I think that's almost guaranteed. Mm-hmm. They're in that money. The, the Redskins. I don't think anybody thinks they're going to take a quarterback. Now they could surprise people and they could right. say, you know, we're going to take Tua, even though they got Haskins. I mean, I, I, or you might end up seeing maybe one of these teams, Dolphins, Georgia, maybe they make a trade for that two spot. Yeah. Right. Now, I think if something were like that were to happen, Chase Young would be off the board. Yeah, the Lions would go with Chase Young at that point. I do agree. Would the would the would, would the Lions trade with the Redskins just to move one spot up? I don't know. Maybe. Because if the Redskins weren't, if you knew they weren't going to take a quarterback, and the Lions wanted Tua, they give them that third pick, and then they give them like Barry Slay or, right. or or Stafford. Kind of what I, I mean. Kind of what I'm know. thinking is this, because I know you got a couple guys coming out. I mean, if they could trade that third pick, if you decide Stafford staying, what have you, say if the Dolphins would give you their fifth, and then that maybe that what what they got twenty fourth, a later pick, mm-hmm. you could go out, you could get say. You could fill a few more needs That's than what just I, mean, the, I get what you're saying. Because there's that corner out, I think, of Ohio State. I don't remember what mm-hmm. his name is off the top of the head. And you could go get a lineman. Mm-hmm. Or take a lineman first. There's a lot of things like, I, I just, <clears throat> it seems like Stafford may want out. Mm-hmm. I mean, his wife has posted some stuff I saw um, about warmer weather. <laughs> right. and I think there's been official sources saying that, that, that it's a developing story. I know but, it's kind of with the Lions, but I think if Stafford were to leave, I'd probably say the best team for him probably would be the Chargers. Mm-hmm, it's yeah. already well set up. There's an offense. It would be. Yeah, you know Hunter Henry. You have some guys on the outside, Keenan Allen, but that's besides. And the I know a lot, I know a lot of people have been saying you know Chargers about taking Herbert, but I've seen a lot of things lately after the combine that says Herbert might not be that as good. That good. Mm-hmm. So, but but. I don't know, but Matt Patricia has got this team kind of. I think right. kind of went down a little bit since he's taken over. I think they I mean, they did, but I, I go back to it. You know, you're starting quarterbacks down. But they seem like they've always kind of struggled. Even right, even a couple even with years. Stafford, right? I mean, when they had Calvin Johnson, mm-hmm. a couple. They've still years. struggled. I mean, 
But all I'm getting at is, you know, give Patricia Stafford and give him the fully loaded offense and let's see what he can yeah. do. And then at that point, you know, you don't want to be the Browns and just Patricia. No, right, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. You got you got to give him a, a year or two to install his system and give him a year with a starting star quarterback. But either way, I'm kind of thinking I think they'll be a little better than 312 and 1. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe five around, or six wins. I was gonna say maybe even around the the seven kind of nine. fighting around with the Bears, you know, mm-hmm. seven and nine, eight and eight. Mm-hmm. But you never know; they might surprise us and come out mm-hmm. hot. The only yeah. difference is, really, I'd say they'd probably stay in fourth because if you look at, you have Stafford, Trubisky, the Bears have the defense that the Lions don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> It's kind of a toss of what they can do. Really, the, really, they're in the perfect spot to see where the dominoes fall. Right. They got forty six million to work with. Maybe they make a splash in free yeah, agency. They can, they can but afford somebody. but yeah. we'll get more into that as free agency kind of hits. So stay tuned, everyone. Yeah, that's all for the Lions. Yep, NFC it. North done. See you next time. Who we covering? It'll be the AFC South. Okay, so we'll Alrighty. be talking Colts, Jags, um, Texans, and. Titans. Titans.